Today I'm going to show you how to install or update Nod32 on your computer. The procedure is the same whether you're installing for the very first time or updating from say version 3 to version 4. This video is best watched in full screen. First, open your web browser, in my case Firefox, and go to eset, e -S -E -T dot com. Up at the top of the website you'll see several links. I'm going to click on the download link. We're now presented with two options. Since I've already purchased ESET from Computer Stop, I'm going to click Take Me to My Download. Now, you can see that there's a Home section and a Business section up at the top. I'm going to go do the Home version since I assume most of our watchers will be doing that as well. Below, you'll see a 32-bit section and a 64-bit section. Now, we need to determine whether this computer is a 64-bit or 32-bit computer. Go to your desktop or start menu and right click on my computer, then click properties. In the system information dialog, we can see that this computer is running 64-bit windows. If you're running XP, 32-bit version is most common. If it's 64-bit, it'll say it, so if there's nothing there at all, it's a, you can assume that it's a 32-bit. Since this computer is 64, I'm going to go and choose the 64-bit download. Note that we're downloading Antivirus 4, not Smart Security. Now I'm asked for my username and password. I open up the email I received with my license information and copy the username, which starts with EAV and goes to the colon. And using my uh, copy-paste function, I put it in the dialog. Then I go and copy the password, not the colon, and click OK. Now I'm prompted to save the file. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of this download. Now that it's done, I'll double click on the file, click OK on the security box, because, and you can see that it's digitally signed by ESET. And the installer starts. I'm going to click Next. I'll agree to the license agreement. Choose the typical install. Now I'm asked for my username and password again, which I'll copy and paste into the boxes. Click OK again, and I'll enable ThreatSense Early Warning System. Now I'm going to choose to enable detection of potentially unwanted programs. These are things like uh, some adware, uh, some potentially harmful games. Uh, kids tend to attract a lot of software that would fall under this category. I'll just choose to enable it. Click, go ahead and click Next. Now you can sit down and relax for a bit until the installation is finished. Now that it's done, we'll go ahead and click Finish. And this pop-up window means that you're successful. If you look down by the clock, you'll see the Nod32 icon, and if you double-click on it, you can see that everything is working smoothly. If you have any difficulties, please don't hesitate to contact us at 468-1056 or our toll-free number 877-596-1693. You can find us at computerstopping.com or on Twitter or Facebook. And you can always reach me at wyatt at cpugold.com.